Nancy, nice to chat to you once again. Uh, can you just uh, take us through what happened at the burial of uh, Clarence Makwetu? Thank you very much, Oprah, and a warm welcome to all the CTC News viewers. Well, I can confirm that um, everything went almost according to plan. Uh, the funeral started at around 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, the body arrived at the, at the homestead at around 6 o'clock in the morning, as scheduled. And um, the, 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 the private service, which includes family members, started right away. And by 9 o'clock, it was at the, at the main marquee where everyone was allowed um, to attend. And what was touching and stood out to a lot of people, uh, you just couldn't miss it, was the fact that uh, the passing of Clarence McWay to has actually united all those pan-Africanist organizations from APC, PEM, all the way to the different factions of the PAC. We saw them coming together and, and pulling in one direction to honor this struggle icon. This struggle I, I, I struggle who has given so much of his life um, to the pan-Africanism um, ideologies. So it was very, very touching to see so many people um, and not worrying for a change. I mean, given uh, what we have seen uh, in the past, I mean, we all know what happened uh, to the SABC broadcast in, in Shablin when uh, we were disturbed while trying to broad broadcast there. There was nothing remotely close to the sort happening here. Um, and the message that was preached um, just about by every speaker who took to the podium, and not just those within the Pan-African fold, but uh, observers as well. I mean, I can mention Chief Nangom Sabo Matanzima, who was one of the guest speakers there. He also preached the issue of um, unity among uh, these organizations that believe in Pan-Africanism. And uh, he reminded them of where they come from. I mean, he says uh, they were once the pride of not just um, South Africa, but the African continent, and they were well respected. And uh, they must uh, reflect on where they are now, and would they be proud by what they have achieved. So all in all, I would say that um, the, 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 the death of Makwete, as sad as it is, um, it may be good perhaps for the Pan-Africanist movement, uh, given what we saw there. I mean, seeing the Lichap and Pasele and them um, being uh, in one room, paying homage to one person, you know, it was very, very cutting. As for the family, I mean, they say they were very, very moved. Um, to see so much support, um, mainly from government. I mean, uh, we understand that uh, this was a provincial um, official funeral, um, meaning that it was funded by government, and a lot of things were taken care of by government. So they appreciated that, that effort from the government side. And, of course, seeing a lot of people. Uh, I mean, it's a very, very remote area, that farm. Uh, but despite that, we saw people coming from all over the country. Some came as far as Nimbopo. There were those who were coming from Cape Town. I mean, just looking at the flag, PAC flags that were flying around. You'd see one written, uh, what was branch in Nimbopo and one what was branch in, in the Western Cape. That shows uh, the kind of respect that, that, that Clarence Mlam de Makwetu commanded. Not just to, within perhaps uh, the Pan African Youth Movement. I mean, we saw some ANC members uh, showing their respect. We, show, we, show, we saw some UDM and a whole lot of other political parties that were there and to pay their home. They're saying that uh, Clarence Makwetu belongs in the caliber of two South Africans. Those who were patriots who went beyond just um, the nitty-gritties of certain political parties, but fought very, very hard for the liberation of this country. So he's one who really, really united uh, people. Um, the funeral, well, there was a bit of uh, disturbances. I mean, when the guests were, were introduced, I mean, those who were watching on TV will probably attest to that. Uh, we saw some, we had some boos uh, being meted against um, some of uh, former PAC members. I mean, one timber goody was on the receiving end of those boos, and we also saw Tami Kaplaki, and a former high ranking member of the PAC who has since moved to PEM and later ANC. And of course, we know that timber goody is now the leader of the African Convention, APC rather and he is the leader of uh, SCOPA in Parliament. And they're uh, speaking to the people on the ground just to double-check on why they have booed those people. And uh, for Timber Good in particular, they say that uh, they do not like his stance at all in Parliament. It is as though he, he is always in bed with the ANC. So that is what the boos are about. But um, after certain speakers came in and uh, mm -hmm. tried to quell that, we saw some calm being restored. And um, when, the, when the coffin had to be moved, we understand that the burial service happened at the farm where he resides upon his assignment from active politics, but as the, his request, he was to be buried some 30 kilometers away from the farm in Oita, where he was born. Um, it's quite a long drive. I mean, we tried to go and check out that yesterday, and it took us approximately two hours to get there. Unfortunately, as the 
the, 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 the cottage carrying his mortal remains was about to leave the farm right at the gate. Um, something very odd happened. I mean, he had a tire punt, and unfortunately there was no spare wheel, which caused a bit of a delay. But ultimately, you understand that uh, another has was brought in, and they were able to move over to Oita, and yes, he has been laid to rest in a family graveyard alongside some family members. Those include his parents, and of course, some of his siblings. We are told that he was the last of his family was still alive. Uh, certainly the okay. most senior member of the Makwetu family was still alive. So he has been buried at, at, at Oita where he was born. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, that was our reporter there, Unati Bingose, walking us through uh, the funeral of the late former PAC president, Clarence Mlamli Makwetu.